Well, all right, I got another one. It's been a couple years since I've cleaned an evaporator on camera. But I'm gonna run through this one again, I guess, real quick. Maybe do a little bit better of a job than what I did last time. A couple years ago, as you can see, this one's filthy. We can't get any air through there. Nothing good, not enough. So I'm gonna clean it and see how good we can make it look. So I've already taken the fan blades off and dropped the cover on it. And uh, we're gonna need to pull these down these are just little cover plates see i pulled them down from there already got them sitting right in here so I'll pull the other ones down now before i get it all wet i'm gonna go like this use a flat spatula thing and get off as much as i can get not so much on the coil but mostly on the flat surfaces make less of a mess on the floor in here. That'll help a little bit compared to that when you're trying to wash it all off. Let's see if I can get some better footage here. clean the channel out. Got a bunch of junk in this channel here. careful not to bend the fans sometimes these coils are so old and in so bad shape this one's almost there but this will actually break these these will become real brittle and they'll break and then you can't do this you gotta be careful and, and just clean it with a very mild chemical Sorry about the footage. This is really difficult to try to do, standing on a ladder like this. But I want to get some 
good footage. So whoever watches this, maybe someone will get some good use out of it. And lucky me, they don't have any any hot water here at the store. That's gonna make washing this a lot more difficult. But break out the chemicals. That'll help. Okay, I think I'm about ready to do some water <laughs> and chemicals. So I've got a big bucket here. See these are drain pans. It is a little bit higher in level on this side than it is on this side. But I'm gonna see if I can make this side drop a little bit. Okay, I rigged it up to where this side is a little bit lower, about an inch, so everything should drain that way and down into here. Okay, believe it is working. I will try to get some footage, but it's very, very difficult with, uh, with the phone. But, I'll try. There we go. Mm -hmm. Ooh, very nice. I might not even have to use chemical here. Okay, I gotta stop. So, no chemical. I'm not gonna use chemical here. So that's good. Corrosive chemical hurts the coils. It makes them last a shorter lifespan. I can take the brush, just like this, and kind of help break the stuff up. This is gonna be a lot better than what it was. So, that's what really matters there how much better it's going to be. Don't have to eat off of it though. Look at that water. Let's go rinse it again. And then we'll do the other side. And then, hell, that'll be done. Okay, that's done. This is what it looks like done. I would have tried to do more, but uh, videoing, but I, I just, it's, I couldn't. So 
you know. When I'm all finished, I take it, I'll wipe everything all down. Still can't get good footage. Anyways, I'm gonna wipe this thing down, wipe everything down, and then put it back together. Got some dirty, dirty blades. So I'm gonna clean those up. All right, got them clean. Now, I think it's important for me to say that this is the first time in a long time that only water was necessary. Most of the time, this stuff is stuck on there really hard and water will not do it no matter what. Sometimes not even hot water. Sometimes not even coil cleaner gets it very well. It's always different. But this time, stuff came off very easily with just water and a brush. Okay, well, I got it back together now. So the panel went back on. Uh, oh, I gotta put the drain together. That's just a quick fitting that goes right together. So, not the best video. Not shot very well, guys, but kind of get the idea. These things gotta be clean for them to work.